Hello everyone, after a week-long break, I'm Gavin Harris with the last Region 4 SIP rep for November. First, in Nigeria, since our last report, there have been over 30 new cases of Lhasa fever, bringing the official confirmed case count to 989, with two additional confirmed deaths raising the toll to 178 fatalities thus far. The case fatality rate has remained steady at approximately 18% among confirmed cases. No new healthcare workers have been affected, and a multinational effort toward accelerating the licensing of Lhasa fever vaccines continues. Next. In Iraq and Iran, the CCHF outbreak that has festered since the beginning of this year continues. While in Iraq, cases have significantly dropped from earlier this year, in Iran, since March, 78 cases including 9 deaths have been confirmed, an increase greater than 500% from the prior year. Next to Ebola, where in Uganda, the Sudan virus outbreak continues. On November 28th, Uganda reported the first new case in 11 days, and three of the nine affected districts have not reported new cases for more than six weeks, twice as long as the incubation period for the virus. The current case count as of November 28th stands at 142, with 56 confirmed deaths. This equates to a case fatality rate of at least 39%, though the actual rate is likely closer to 50%. But for the third consecutive week, as per the WHO and through mid-November, case counts appear to be leveling off. This promising news comes as the first Sudan virus vaccine candidates are to arrive in country as ring vaccination trials are scheduled to begin this month. In the United States, there have been no reports of high-risk patients under investigation or PUIs. But as healthcare workers have accounted for 13.4% of cases and 12.7% of all deaths in Uganda, frontline personnel in the U.S. are advised to continue to be on alert for patients presenting with consistent symptoms, exposure, and travel history. For additional resources, visit us at scdu.emory.edu.